when a revolution happens, certain things are needed. Okay. So you've got this, uh, it's a very different time today as it was in 1979. And I tell you why, because when you've got people that are rising up against a ruling party and a monarchy, the king of that, the, the Muhammad Reza Shah, at the end of the day, he wanted to keep power. But at the end of the day, he thought, if the people don't want me here, I've got to flee. Exactly. That's not going to happen. With the mullahs. <laughs> because you're not fighting a government and you're not fighting people because what they see is a crime against the religion. Yes. So it's going to be a very hard fight because they're not going to flee. Can you really see the, the president, Raisi, and the Ayatollah leaving the country in a plane? They won't. That is why we need the world to be our voice. You need, no, not just a voice. This is what I'm getting at. First of all, you need communication. Love you, Elon Musk, right? yeah, exactly. for giving that. <laughs> Second, for a revolution to be successful, especially in this climate, you need to be armed. Otherwise, you're going to be like the people in Tiananmen Square of China. You're going to be like the people in Burma. And then the army will come in and they'll wait it out and suddenly they'll kill 500 to 1,000 people one week and then next minute they'll wait it out and next minute they'll come and eventually the people get tired and there's so much loss of life. And I'm against guns. I'm against armament and guns, but this is one This is one area. I was thinking last night, I was thinking, you know, with the Americans having their Second Amendment, if the people were armed, the Second Amendment was put in place to be able to overthrow an oppressive government and regime. So what has to happen here is a country has to help the Iranian people. Yes. Because one is they can buy their arms from Afghanistan, but they're poor. People, the average person that are protesting in the street, they're students that have degrees without work. There's no jobs. So how are they going to afford to buy weapons to arm themselves yeah. and and i'm not just talking about the iranians here i'm talking about revolutions as a whole okay do you know americans not going to help and, and no matter what like i was hearing some journalists talking about america's going to come to the aid they're not i can guarantee it they're not because in 1979 with uh president carter that went there then they were they had an enemy then to sort of go americans are behind this protest you see, they'll shift the, the narrative. Americans are behind this protest. We have to get America out. We have to, So suddenly they're going to reinforce that idea. So Americans won't come in. Do you know the one country I think should help Iran? And it's the most hated country by the Islamic regime of Iran. Israel. Israel. Because when the Shah was in, and from what I remembered reading in 1970, in the 70s, up until the revolution, the Middle East was pretty much at peace. There were skirmishes and little proxy wars, but the Shah was a friend of, uh, of Israel. Yep. Um, everyone was benefiting. Yep. Everyone was, was okay. I think Israel need to look at that because their biggest threat is the regime in developing nuclear weapons and things like that. I'm not saying they should, because, <laughs> but I'm saying that if there was a country, I think Israel should be it. I think Israel should come in and help the people. Because if they do, then I, do, I, feel, I feel for the Iranian people now because it's just going to get worse. There's going to be a lot of, especially with this President Raisi coming back from New York, from the UN, and he's coming back there. They're all fearing because the last revolution, there were snipers on the roof picking off people and even though i think i don't know what the death toll is today but yesterday was 50 could be more today which it would be more yeah and i just feel sad because there's gonna be a lot more loss of life but honestly if i was there i'd be thinking if we don't deal with this now my kids were gonna have to deal with it yeah, exactly now what's worse me giving up my life or witnessing the death of my children i'm hoping the people stayed resolute the third thing that's needed in a revolution is a leader. If they're wanting to overthrow the regime, they need a leader to come into place. And what I heard, tell me if I'm wrong, what I heard was the Shah's wife, the Queen, 
has actually said that she would like to come back to her and that's got people very excited. Nice. Uh, there was another football player. That, Ali Karimi. Yeah, he's got like 11.1 million followers and he's quite political and he's yeah. he's doing a lot. He's there. very brave. He's very brave. True hero. 